Comedy and fun is a mix you hardly ever see in video games nowadays, but South Park Stick of Truth definitely made me realize that that mix is still out there. It's been a while since I played a game that genuinely made me laugh my ass off. I'm going to teach you how to use a ranged magic attack. It's not easy, but being able to cover a spell from a distance can save you in battle. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> yeah! Hey, that's not the usual kid that picks up the package, huh? Oh shit. It's a kip! The story is pretty much the title. It's all based on the stick of truth. Whoever wields it can control everything in the city. You play as the fresh meat in town and you have to converse with all the characters you know and love from the show. The story kicks in when the war breaks out between Cartman and Kyle. You have the freedom to choose which side you want to fight on and work with. But I must say, the way the characters interact with each other really is what made this story something special. Then again, crawling up a guy's asshole was definitely something unique, considering I have never seen it in my entire life. Uh, yeah, huge tip for all you kitties out there. Don't, I repeat, don't play this in front of mommy. I'm gonna scare you straight. If you're a Call of Duty player, the gameplay will definitely not satisfy you. This game is what I like to call a relaxation game. Of course, most Call of Duty junkies don't know what the hell that is, so you pretty much should just forget about buying this fucking game. But for all you real gamers, this will satisfy you. You will commence in battles, taking turns fighting back and forth until the other team is defeated. But it's not just fighting back and forth with sticks and stones. You get special powers that you can use, and you can summon characters to help you out in battle. Outside of fighting, you have the whole town to explore. And believe me, there is a lot to explore in the town of South Park. You can go do side quests and screw around with friends, or check your status on your knockoff Twitter account. But keep in mind, it's highly encouraged that you explore and level up, because you will need better armor and weapons as you progress through the story. Clyde, you are hereby banished from space and time! What? No! You can't do that! Yeah, I can! You're banished and lost in time and space! I have to cover this in every review I do, guys, because I know you guys are graphic junkies. So let me just say, this is a straight up out of the show game. Everything looks like this show. So if you like the animation and artwork in the show, you will like the animation and artwork in the game. Everything is crystal clear and runs smoothly. No complaints. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson who has the power of diabetes. There was hardly any bullshit in this game, guys. I probably had two cases of bullshit in my experience after playing it for a good 10 hours. One case was some of the characters that were tagging along with me would get me stuck in corners and on ladders. And when I would try to move out, the character would just stand there dreaming about the booty. Another case of BS was that there was nothing really for me to go back for. Sadly, this game has hardly any replay value. Sure, there are side quests and items to collect, but I had no reason to go back and explore. Don't get me wrong, the story was so good, you will probably go back and play it two or three times. Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick, controls the universe. Don't gaze at it too long, for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Now that you have seen the stick of truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs $9.95 for the first week, $4 of which is tax deductible.